welcome back to another video. My name is Jill and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I am planning on bringing to college. So let's just get started. Be forewarned that I did not script this video. I normally write a script for like all of my videos so that I'm not standing here like I don't know what to say. I have been busy packing and doing other stuff and so I didn't have time to write out a script for this so this video might be kind of a mess. <laughs> Speaking of messes, COVID-19. <laughs> Some of you might be wondering like oh you're living on campus even though it's COVID-19. Yes so I am a junior in college which means that I am in my third year of college and I am living on campus because I had booked my housing like a year ago <laughs> and yeah so I'm living on campus in like this apartment thing it's not really a dorm it's more of an apartment um, but I am going to be taking all of my classes online at least for the first little bit um, but maybe for all of it it's kind of insane and it's very uncertain and I don't know what's going to happen. I finally have a really big room in my apartment. I'm used to having like microscopic rooms to where like I can't have a bookshelf like it is small. But I finally got a big room this year and I was planning on doing like a whole bookshelf and a reading corner and like all this stuff and I might be sent home at any moment because of COVID and so I can't do that unfortunately at least until I'm more certain of what's going to happen and also that being said I don't know how my classes are going to work I'm doing it online but always when you start a new semester I have no idea how busy I'm going to be um and another cool thing is that one of the classes that I'm taking this semester is a YA literature course and so I have really no idea how that's going to go so I don't know how many books I'm going to have to read for that or whether I'm going to have time to read for pleasure hopefully I do have time to read for pleasure and that is what the books that I'm about to show you are for <laughs> I don't know why I'm gesturing over here I'm weird I'm sorry this is already a mess <laughs> I totally forgot to say this at the beginning so I'm inserting it now but I'm majoring in English literature that's why I'm taking like English cor courses because I'm majoring in English literature so anyway because I can't have a bookshelf I can't bring a lot of books um and also because I'm prepared for any kind of zombie apocalypse whenever I um move in to a dorm and so I just have so much stuff so much to carry and like having like a bunch of books um is not going to work <laughs> hi if you've made it this far through the intro in this video I'm going to be talking about I think like six books that I'm planning on bringing um and this kind of is also going to act as a TBR because these are the books that I want to read next kind of so instead of it being like a collection that I'm bringing to college it's like six books and I'm also going to talk about the books that I have to read for school that I'm bringing but I'll talk about that at the end. They're classic so I don't know if people are going to be interested in that. Uh, but yeah let's just get started. So the first book that I'm planning to take to college is Uprooted by Naomi Novik and this follows a girl named Agnieszka. I think that's how you pronounce it. Please forgive me if that is wrong. I looked it up and I think that's what it is. Um, and she lives in this quiet little village and it is overseen by this wizard that calls himself the dragon. And so he protects the village from evil, but once every 10 years, he comes down to the village and then takes a girl to go and live with him. And then after the girls come back, they are changed. Don't know what change means. I'm getting kind of Beauty and the Beast retelling vibes and I think I've seen other people kind of say that and this just sounds like a really whimsical fairy tale. For the reading rush, I actually finished Hunted by Megan Spooner which is a YA Beauty and the Beast retelling that's inspired by Russian folklore. So I think this is like kind of very similar um, and but I think that this one is an adult book. But I really enjoyed reading this and I thought it was whimsical and really gave me that like classic fairy tale vibes. And yeah, I just had lots of fun with it. So I am excited to get to this one because if it's similar at all, I think that I'm Really going to enjoy it. Next up I'm going to take Beach Read by Emily Henry and I've seen this book like God knows like everywhere <laughs> recently. This is an adult romance book following two authors. The man in this book writes literary fiction and the woman in this book writes romance and then they meet at this beach house and then they decide that they are going to swap genres because they are having a bit of writer's block and so in order to teach um, each other about their respective genres. They take the other person on like various different adventures in order to get them in the mood to write. Like the romance author takes the literary fiction author um, on like little cute dates that would be seen in a rom-com and I've just heard like really good things about this book. I know that it is also has really heavy elements and you don't really see that looking at the cover but apparently it deals a lot with I think grief and depression and heavy topics like that. You know I'm all about a cute and fluffy read but I do like um, romance that do pack a heavier punch as well. So I'm excited to see um, what I think of this when I read it. Next up I'm bringing another really popular book on book two these days and that is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. This cover, like I take it out of my shelf and just stare at it because it is so 
beautiful. If you somehow miss the hype about what this book is about, it basically follows a transgender boy named Felix and he is also um, black and queer. And he ends up coming into conflict when um, someone that he knows starts posting pictures of him um, before his transition and also using his dead name online. And even though Felix is um, proud of who he is, why is it doing that? Hold on, my viewfinder is like focusing on his face. Is that because he thinks the cover is so beautiful? What was I talking about? Yeah, even though Felix is really proud of who he is because he has to sort of deal with this transphobia head on, he decides to take revenge on the person who is doing all these terrible things to him. And I've heard just amazing things about this book. I know that Felix makes a lot of mistakes as he is a teenager, but I've heard that following his journey is just a wonderful experience. And as he's getting revenge, I think there's sort of like a love triangle that arises because he tries to like catfish someone or something like that. I kind of want to go in a little bit blind. So yeah, I'm just really excited to see what all the hype is about. So the next book that I'm going to be bringing is Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib Karam. And this book I have had as an arc for a really long time. I was sent to it by the publisher and I'm really excited to get to it because the sequel is just about to come out. I don't know, this is admittedly the book that I know the least about so bear with me but I know that it has a um, mental health rep and I think it deals with um, the main character Darius who has depression and also Darius is Iranian and then he ends up going to Iran on a vacation and he meets this boy and I think it might be a male male romance but do not quote me on that I'm not absolutely sure. I heard some great things about this book. Excited to get to it and see what I think. Next up I have another book that's been on my shelves for forever and that is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. As far as I know this follows a princess named Denna and she is supposed to marry a prince I believe in her kingdom um, but she ends up falling for the prince's sister and Mare when uh, Mare tries to teach her I think like something like horseback riding. And yeah so this is a female female romance and I am here for it. And I know this also has a fantasy element to it as Denna ends up having an affinity for fire and magic is forbidden in their kingdom and so Denna and Mare kind of have to team up and deal with all that. I've heard kind of mixed things about this book. At first I've heard people say that it wasn't good and then I heard someone um, say that it's like the most powerful romance that they've ever read about and I was like okay I gotta read this and see what I think. Really excited for the female female romance aspect as I've already told you and so yeah I think I might get to this sooner than the others just because I am I'm excited. The last book that I'm going to be bringing as of now is the, uh, I forgot what it was called, The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. And this is the second book in the Kiss of Deception trilogy. And I read The Kiss of Deception during the reading rush and I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. The first book follows a princess named Laia, Laia, I think. And she ends up having to marry a prince in her kingdom, but she doesn't want to marry him. And so she runs away on their wedding day and she is then pursued by the prince that she left sort of at the altar and then an assassin sent to kill her. Both of these boys are chasing after her and the readers don't know which one's which and so it's kind of a guessing game and I don't know I really enjoyed it and so I'm excited to get to the sequel. Um, someone commented on one of my recent videos that this book is actually even better than the first one so I'm excited and plus I really don't want to let series go too long. I want to read, does this make sense? I want to finish series instead of just like reading the first book and then like not reading the rest of the books for like three years you know because then I have to reread the first book and it's a hassle so I'm really trying to if I start a series to finish it fairly quickly after I start it. Um, so yeah I want to get to this one pretty soon. That's why I am taking it. So those are all of the books that I am planning on bringing to college as far as pleasure reading goes. Now I'm going to get into all of the books that I have to read for school I really don't know what any of these are about except for like one I don't know what any of them are about so I have five books for one of my classes and again I don't really know what any of these are about so I'm just gonna flash them on the screen and if you've happened to read any of these please let me know because I have actually like never heard of any of them except for one um and that's a Jane Austen book and this is basically like I don't know how to describe this class it's like it's called the novel to Jane Austen and it explores literature up until Jane Austen, if that makes sense. Anyway, I won't go into it. So the first one I have is Caleb Williams by William Godwin. Again, not giving summaries because I don't know what they're about. The second one I do know, and that is Emma by Jane Austen. I'm very excited to read this. I've got this pretty edition that I've had on my shelves for years, so I'm excited to get to it. Back to not knowing what any of these are about. Then I have Pamela by Samuel Richardson. Forgive me. Um, Oronoko by Afra Ben. 
please forgive me if I mispronounce that. Then I have Mall Flanders by Daniel Defoe. And those are all the books that I have for my one class. And then for a different class, which is more focused on like writing theory as opposed to like literature. Um, so I have two here. I have Smarter Than You Think by Clive Thompson. And then I have Naming What We Know, Threshold Concepts of Writing Studies, um, edited by Linda Adler Kassner and Elizabeth Wardle. So we'll see. So yeah, those are all the books that I'm planning on bringing to college. We will see how it goes. As far as like filming videos, that also is a big question mark because I'm not sure if I'm going to have time, if I'm going to be reading for pleasure, all that good stuff, but I will try my hardest to make some kind of content for you guys, but I'm not really sure how it's going to go. And again, COVID is like messing everything up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I have all of my social media in the description box and I will see you later in another video. Bye! Oh, and before I end, please everyone be safe, wear your mask. If you're going back to school, I really hope that you are staying safe um, and healthy and everything is good in your lives. Anyway, bye!